for the show. A couple of years ago, on head the end the low. What's the starter? Something good. When me and my nigga rolled What's up fam? This is uh Zaraximus Rogue. Uh, here with another haul video. Uh, this video is exclusively SDCC 2017. I'll tell you the truth, I should have my nerd card revoked. Went down to San Diego to visit my uncle just to spend some time with family. Did not realize it was Comic Con weekend. I thought it was the last weekend in July like it usually is. Anyways, uh, hooked up some tickets, got in, saw Sean Leggett, uh, communicated with a couple of other members um yeah i this con was a little different for me uh, i'm not used to really finding or expecting deals or steals or treasures at a big con everything's overpriced and picked through by the time i get to it um so i, I just went for the experience however i did hunt a little bit here and there and this is kind of what i found the first book is a book that was and then wasn't. It's my biggest score and my biggest blunder at San Diego Comic Con. Was digging in some guys' bins that I've seen over the years at a whole bunch of cons in Cali and actually in, Al in New Mexico also. He always had uh, fairly decent priced uh, uh, medium spec books. They're not the super spec books. Those are all gone. It's not the junk. But yeah, he has a lot of stuff. Uh, I was just got way, going in to see some of his wall books and I was just flipping through the all new Wolverines and I actually found an all new Wolverine number two variant for nine bucks. Uh, you know, try to keep it cool. I uh, looked at a couple of things, paid my nine bucks and I took off and I was super juiced. I told my cousin, hey, this is a 90, 80 to 90 dollar book. Uh, so, you know, had the book in my hand, went to a couple other dealers, separated from my cousin, and when I was looking through other another dealer's books, I put this book down, and somebody swiped it. I was pissed. I was mad. I was heated. Um, it happened between a cash exchange, buying some other books, but, you know, it is my fault. It, I should have put it in my bag right away. I told, talking to my aunt and uncle later, and my uncle told me, yeah, you treated it like a $9 book, not a $90 book. And I should have realized I should have put it in my bag right away, just being lazy. Oh, well, uh, the, f the flip giveth and the flip taketh away. The spec giveth and the spec taketh away. Anyhow, on to what I actually did get at San Diego, San Diego Comic Con. Wasn't really looking for these Greg Horn ex exclusives, but actually found them on the way to the restroom in a panel. So, you know, they're beautiful. I think these are unsung, underrated uh, variants for Ven Edge of Venomverse. Matina obviously has been giving all the uh, hype, but, you know, Greg Horn in this cover is awesome. These hooded serpents. Um, I really didn't want to get them online, but once I saw them in person, I had to have them. They present really well. The dude uh, who sold them, uh, actually, I actually met Greg Horn, the other guy who sold them for him, was really cool and he picked me out some pretty cherry copies. Not only did I get a full set, but I got uh, one, oh, I'll just let those, two. I got one, two, three of the uh, SDCC exclusive uh, Virgin covers. I think, uh, I think these books are going to be hot. Uh, next was a, another convention exclusive that I was actually going to pass up, but once I saw it staring me in the face, you know, another another set that caught my eye was this Spider-Man 2 uh, Miles Morales Turner variant. I know Turner's been done. Turner's market's been saturated with these repaints, retouches, recolors, but I'm a fan, you know. If ultimately I'll keep a set, I'll get rid of a set. Even if I don't make any money and lose money, I, th I love this art. Uh, you never know. Uh, when Miles comes to the uh, cinematic universe, these, these books could see a resurgence. Another reason I got them is because the girl, also just being nice, let me pick through a stack of about, a stack of about, I don't know, 10 each. So I basically got the, got one of the better copies. So I got two sets. Uh, another convention exclusive that I thought I could, uh, you know, maybe help with the wallet 
pocketbook were these Avengers J. Scott Campbell Mary Jane variants. Ah, uh, that signature, man. I got lucky. I, I did get a um, a next a Jean Grey one Campbell variant from one of the uh, one of the uh, community members. I paid pr pretty good amount of money, but the book was excellent and no signature. I asked if there was any with no signature. Nope, got shot down. Uh, that's it, it for the convention exclusives. Now these are just kind of the other things I got wandering the floor. As you can see from the size of the stack, it wasn't much. And like I said, I was mostly going to experience Comic Con with my cousin. And you know, that 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 was that box was checked. So just another book that I've or another set I've been trying to complete are these spawns uh, Marvel swipes. I won one in a Raz not too long ago. This one was off a wall for 40 bucks. Yeah, it's it's top or or almost full eBay price, but that's what you're gonna pay at San Diego Comic Con. Uh, similar to a lot of guys, I'm willing to pay a higher price if the book is near mint, near mint plus, and maybe can be slapped down the road. Uh, another book I found was uh, these are all from different dealers. So this was one dealer. This was another dealer. Just kind of dug in one of his boxes really quick, and he had this Harley variant. Uh, 15 bucks I don't, not a bad not bad they're going for 40 50 um, one of the hotter uh, convention exclusives at San Diego was this Wonder Woman 26 of course uh, the line was huge for these exclusives and obviously everybody was asking for the Wonder Woman I figured doing the or you know Sean kind of uh, schooled me and told me look dude do the math you're not gonna make it I agreed with him got out and at the end of the show, when I'm walking out, I see this on a dealer table. Most dealers were asking 50, 60. One dude was asking 100. Yeah, I couldn't do it, man. Uh, but this guy wanted 35, and this copy was really, really good. So this is something that I'm happy. You know, convention price was 15. Markup was another 20. For a near mint copy, that was awesome. Another thing about that made this worth it was the individuals you bought this from at the graf graphics or graffiti booth through DC they just gave you any book they didn't care the condition and you couldn't get a better condition book so again a, a, I'm glad I, I paid a little bit more knowing I was gonna get a great copy that's one a separate dealer another dealer I just found these a third printing of uh, the marry me Batman 24 and a ten dollar one and I don't know if this is one in fifty or one in a hundred David Fitch Wonder Woman. There was actually a lot of these and Unchained Superman. I'm a fan of Fitch. I'm a fan of Lee, so I I picked up some. I mean, I'm there to spend. In some shops, people are still having these for fifty, sixty bucks. eBay is a solid ten to fifteen. I got to preview them. I'm glad. I'm happy I have them. So Wonder Woman thirty six, and that's again a set whole separate dealer. And these last books are the books I got that ended up costing me the all new X Men 2. Oh man, I won't never live that down. Anyways, good price for the books, but considering I lost the other one, I would have rather had the all new Wolverine. Uh, new X Men A uh, 450 or Uncanny X Men 451 uh, X 23 appearance, eight bucks. I ended up uh, paying ten each for these, and he threw this one in for free. It's always a good thing to take cash. People will always reduce their price for cash. So anyhow, this was the uh, the other books I got from him for um, basically ten bucks each. Uh, Unchained Super Superman Unchained Two One in a Hundred Jim Lee variant, more Fitch variants, Wonder Woman Thirty Six, Thirty Eight, and Thirty Seven. Uh, and I also picked up these Spider Man Deadpool Amazing Con sketch variants. At a con half a year ago i picked up the color ones for 10 bucks these ones are 10 bucks have a little set uh, but yeah so that was all i got at san diego comic con um you know like i said didn't go for the dig went for the experience and i was happy luckily i was in san diego another couple of days and uh my appetite for digging was satiated uh, I stay at my uncle's when I go to San Diego. He let me use a truck on a Saturday morning when he wasn't doing much. And I was able to hit some shops. I actually hit four shops in San Diego. Two of which yielded nothing. Uh, but the first shop I went to actually 
really, really was a score. All these were 35% off. Um, and uh, he knew what he had. When I took these up to pay, he told me, nice, nice grab on a couple of these. So for some pretty good books. I was really happy to happy that I decided to go and like I said happy my digging bug was kind of satisfied. So Green Lantern number 9 near mint condition 70 cents. Again, I sometimes I just collect for covers. I thought this was a cool Supergirl cover. Uh what is it? A dollar 60. Uh this uh all new all different Marvel universe. This is actually a variant and this is the first time that X23 is uh in costume and the Wolverine cost only Wolverine costume uh, this was two bucks uh, and some cover price stuff off his shelf were these nice uh, Sujik Aquaman 26 variants I think I got two uh, I'm all on the Jenny Frieson bandwagon and her covers trying to co collect a set of these Wonder Woman Frieson covers all of them are B covers uh, probably harder to find, but I think it's a great set. Sorry about that, the video cut off for a little bit. Uh, this is continuing with uh, the first shop I hit in San Diego. A uh, shop that I was really happy with. Uh, all these books were, I think for the next stack, were $3 plus everything was 35% off. So 35% off three, all these books were two bucks. Uh, Wonder Woman 172, Superman cover. Wonder Woman 166, there with Batman. Wonder Woman 65, some demon, Wonder Wo and Wonder Woman 78, another Adam Hughes cover. Other kind of books that kind of fly under the radar are the last five issues of the Supergirl series from 2000... Damn it, forgot the year. Anyways, it's penciled by Ed Bennis and it has some great art. The last co five covers for some reason are really popular. I got three of the five. It's Super Supergirl 75, this kind of throwback cover another supergirl on supergirl some more supergirl on supergirl action 78 um and this this cover that you know is goes for more than two bucks on the secondary market so i picked it up a uh, great book i found was the first big hero 6 alpha flight 17 um first printing of amazing spider-man 529 it was kind of crazy that this, this was still out there for three bucks given the the movie trailer had dropped has dropped not too long ago. Another Turner cover that I've always loved is Teen Titans number one. There's actually a color variant and a black and white fourth edition variant. Uh, black and white can, or sketch can be found for five, ten bucks. This one I don't know what it goes for, but again, another good ad at two bucks. First appearance of Phantom X um, and his first cover appearance. Again, a whole four bucks total. Uh, New X-Men 134, this is actually another book also that I think has some potential way down the line. This is the first appearance of Kid Omega or Quentin Choir. He's an Omega level telepath that doesn't get any love, but this is his first appearance. Uh, New X-Men 134. Uh, another X-Men variant, uh, number 97. I actually have the other half of this. Both halves are available. I only needed one of the halves, so I only took one. So I, I feel kind of like a dirtbag breaking up their set, but they were priced individually. Another book I just got to complete a run is Flash 209, Michael Turner cover. This was, what, 325. Uh, another good book I found was the first full appearance of Taskmaster for uh, Avengers 195. Also, 30% off of four bucks. So what is it? 280, something like that. I don't know, three, around three bucks. I actually had a chance to open it and actually is in really, really, really nice shape. Hardly no spine ticks. The yellow, the back isn't too yellow, so quality also. <laughs> Another a book that the uh, cashier comment, commented on was this Invincible Iron, Invincible Iron Man number seven. This is uh, the Woman of Power variant, first appearance of Riri Williams. Yeah, he knew what it was and he didn't mind giving it to me for 30% off of five. Uh, I spawn 77, kind of like an iconic spawn cover that I think is really popular. Uh, let me see, and ooh, the last but not least is the Web of Spider-Man 38. This book, uh, again, another book that has a, a low-key first appearance, the first appearance of Tombstone. 
I mis mistakenly identified that as Spectacular Spider-Man 136. And I'm here to say that I was wrong. Uh, I actually also got another book that fell through the cracks. It was uh, Lady Mechanica number 1C variant. It was, I don't know, 15 bucks. But yeah, I think that shop was awesome. Uh, good digging. You could see that most of the stuff was spec'd out. But it seems like they uh, restocked because... There's some books in there that I, knew, that I knew should be gone and weren't. So I was I was extremely surprised that I found them and I was happy to find them. Uh, it's a shop that I will frequent again when I go visit in San Diego. Uh, these next books were actually from a, a chain comic store in San Diego. I think this is called Comics and Stuff. Uh, these are from the, the bigger warehouse in El Cajon. Uh, again, not really expecting to find much. I was kind of in a hurry, but you know, uh, still some some cool grabs. I think this Fantastic Four is Fantastic Four 15. I don't. This is an early uh, Valerie Storm, uh, the little uh, Mr. Fantastic and Miss Invisible's uh, little second child. I believe her first appearance is in here also, but this is an early appearance or a grown appearance, one of the two. And I actually stumbled on a whole bunch of these free uh, Jenny Free Frizon Wonder Woman cover B covers, all for cover price. So uh, Wonder Woman 7, Wonder Woman 8, Wonder Woman uh, 17, two Wonder Woman 18s, that one was a mistake. Uh, Wonder Woman 21, although this doesn't look... Oh, no, this is the wrong one. Nope, that shouldn't be in there. Anyways, Wonder Woman 23, two Wonder Woman 24s. Another book I found was this uh, early Adam Hughes, Vengeance of Aprilla book. That was three bucks. Uh, this Fantastic Four, first Valerie as a baby. Uh, I did overpay for it. 425 but... You know what? It was in great condition. I was already there. Kind of completes the set, so I was happy to take it. And uh, this G.I. Joe Gabriel Delato cover. I don't know how much it's worth, but it's in pristine condition. Uh, I did a quick eBay search. Couldn't find much. I haven't really tried to look for it on eBay again. I know there's a virgin or a different version of this that goes for a significant amount of money. Hey, at least I got one. <laughs> Yeah, so that was uh, that was it. That was my uh, San Diego Comic Con slash San Diego trip haul. Uh, good trip overall. Was able to spend a lot of time with family. Lost my ass at the ponies in Del Mar, but hey, good memories. So this is uh, Zaxxamus Rogue coming at you again with this haul video. Even though I was in somebody else's backyard earlier this week, stay out of my backyard. All right, guys. Happy hunting.